Five years after the floods of 2008, the University of Iowa is celebrating a big comeback. Jason Hackett is live tonight at Hancher Auditorium with a look at the future of art and music at the university. Jason. Sadie, all is quiet on the arts campus right now, and it's not just because it's the weekend. Take a look behind me. That is the theater building. It's basically a hollow shell right now. The buildings have been unoccupied here on the arts campus since the flood wiped them out five years ago, which is why these upcoming projects, three years away from completion, are already causing excitement. Take one look around the McBride Auditorium today. Hands clapping. Toes tapping. And UI President Sally Mason joining in the saintly procession. You can see that memories of 2008 are just that, memories. It was five years ago today that we were doing something quite different on campus, to say the very least. And but today, it's about the music. Today, it's about the arts. The thing that I'm really looking forward to is being back on a regular basis a new art and music building is set to house students and teachers who have been without a permanent home. If you're a tuba player and you have to go to six different locations on campus in February, that that's, uh, can be very difficult. And a new Hancher Auditorium will take center stage. We're going on six, our sixth season now without a, a building. But it was a journey that they never gave up on. I myself have a, have a tremendous amount of admiration for the resiliency, uh, for the creativeness, for the adaptability, for the, just the general toughness of mm -hmm. our staff and faculty and students. Now all roads lead to 2016, when the Hawks continue to turn away from the past, marching into their long-awaited future. And that was a very special moment today. That band you saw playing was the Preservation Hall Jazz Band. They played in Hancher Auditorium's opening way back in 1972. Now, as for those three buildings, they will be built beyond the 500-year floodplain so they can avoid what happened back in 2008. We're covering the corridor in Iowa City. Jason Hackett, CBS2 News.